have joining us right now Amy Rauch. And as I mentioned before, she is an enterprising psychology intern, and she's got a really special event that's coming up that we want you to know about. So first of all, Amy, welcome to Autism Live. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We're thrilled to have you. As I was saying to you just a minute ago, our topic this week has been teaching adaptive skills. So tell our viewers what this event is that you have coming up. Yeah, so we'll be doing a cooking class for kids on the autistic spectrum, kids from age 6 to 11. Uh, and really the idea is primarily for kids to engage with their senses in an innovative way in a, um, a different environment, in the kitchen environment. Um, and secondarily for kids to have a social environment where they'll be engaging with peers um, and interacting. And then thirdly, for parents to be able to observe their kids um, their level of stimulation and monitor for overstimulation and then respond in a way that maintains the child's autonomy, but also their sense of safety as well. So those are the three goals that we have for the class. I absolutely love it. And so tell us when this is happening and where it's happening. Um, August 2nd, um, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., that's one Saturday, um, at St. James Episcopal Church, actually, in Newport Beach. So there's a, a beautiful kitchen set up there that um, we've been permitted to use. So, And you're going to be there leading it, but you're not doing this by yourself. Who's participating in this with you? That's correct. Yes. Yeah, so my uncle, Chef Patrick DiGiacomo, is the co-owner of a catering company, um, PT Culinary, and he teaches cooking classes regularly um, and has a heart for this type of thing. And then also my supervisor, Dr. Julie Wilmier, um, also has a private practice specializing in working with children and adolescents. So the three of us will be there um, excited to meet with the kids and their parents. Okay, so you mentioned that it's ages six to 11. Is there a skill level that these children need to have in order for to be successful in the cooking class? Yeah, that's a great question. So I would ask that on the flyer that there is my phone number listed. So I'd ask you call me directly um, and we would just talk briefly just to make sure that your child would be a great fit for the class, which really I would just ask about how verbal your child is um, and any negative behaviors. And just to make sure that they would be safe in the class so we've really structured it so it is a very safe environment. We're not going to be using knives or stoves, um, but we just want to make sure that it's an optimal fit. I absolutely love this. I think it's a brilliant idea, and we want to make sure we've put the flyer up twice now, and it is going to be on our Facebook. But um, if you want to do this, if you're, you think that your child would be a good fit for this, Amy's number is 949-547-2530. But they should call you and contact you and reserve a space fairly soon correct sure, yeah we have just very limited space so we'd love to be able to to meet you and work with your child but we just have a few spaces at this time so okay do you already know what it is you're going to be cooking or do we want to keep that a surprise uh, no I'm okay with sharing that so we're gonna do um, a shepherd's pie so ground turkey mashed potatoes the kids will be you know seasoning the meat and mashing the potatoes together um, then we're gonna make pizzas um, and the kids will get the toppings prepared and work with a partner. And the partner will be telling the, um, the other child what they'd like on their pizza. So we'll cook it that way. And so, then we're going to um, make whipped cream. You know, the chef wouldn't have it any other way, but fresh whipped cream. Okay. And then we're going to dye it and um, do some artwork within the whipped cream. And maybe play some Pictionary, depending on what kind of time we have. So... Um, it's going to be fun. Well, really spectacular. We think this is a great idea. We want to encourage people that are in the Newport Beach area to contact you and see about having their child participate in this. And for people around the country and around the world to get an idea of into things that are available in different places because there are probably many enterprising young psychology interns who are doing different things. So Amy, we applaud you for this. We hope that you get a great turnout and we hope that you'll check back with us and let us know how it all went. Maybe get some pictures that we can show as well. Yeah, that would be great. Thanks so much for having me. What a treat to be able to share this in this environment. So well, thank you very much. We appreciate you. I look forward to all the great things that you're going to do in your career, because if this is what you're doing as an intern, then you're going to do some great things. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks thank for you. Great.